Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Grandma, love, I tell you. And Grandpa, I hope y'all are excited to be here today. I'm telling you, we have a great program today. You know word around town is about you? What? Oh, yeah. About us? What you mean? People, I mean, at Trinity, they love you. People around the world, around the nation, they love you all. They even know who you are. And you know our babies and our children love you. Really? Yes, I'm telling you the truth. You all are really spreading wisdom, love, light to people across this nation and to our young people, even in the midst of this pandemic. And I just want to let y'all know that. We're to God in the glory. I'm telling you, I am so excited. Because this is what? Trinity's Youth Hour. Y'all know how we do it. This is Grandma Love and Grandpa Hope. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. I get so excited when I'm with them. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> amen. Amen. They encourage my heart. I get joy, Grandpa Hope. Really? You get hope? You get joy? Yes, just by being in you all's presence. And today I know we have something incredible in store for our young people. Today we're going to be talking about how to overcome fear and how to trust in God. You know, I used to, hallelujah, have a lot of fear. I used to have a lot of fear. But the Lord help me. Oh, my goodness. What you say, the Lord help you? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Well, I'm telling you, glory to God. Today, we're going to be talking about your granddaughter, Masueli. Amen. And how she, hallelujah, overcame her fear of heights. And, of course, she has some other fears, but we're going to use that to, amen, help our children to remind them that you can really overcome, hallelujah, whatever fear you may have. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, Grandpa, this is going to be a good program. I know it. I know it. Amen. So what do we say? Don't go anywhere. We would be right back. <laughs>
I swear it, it's not going to prosper. Hallelujah. It just won't work. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. You know, I'm so glad, Aaron Jones. We just got in a new president and a new vice president. And guess what, y'all? She looks like me. What? She looks like you? Really? Kamala Harris looks like you? Yes, boo-boo, yes. She is a black Native American lady. And if that gives me hope, I know it does. That means that you, amen, can be what you want to be. If you work hard, you can literally shift, amen, your journey. No matter what people say about you, hallelujah, you can be what you want to be. I'm so excited Hallelujah, amen, about that too. Yes, I am so excited. Yes, amen, God is getting ready to move. And you know, that brings me to our topic today, my Swally. You know, my Swally, you know, it brings me to this topic that I'm sure, amen, that that black lady, that strong black lady, Vice President Kamala Harris, she faced a lot of fear. I'm sure that many people tried to stop her, that she faced, amen, hearsay and gossip and negativity, but she had to overcome that fear and remind herself that she was created in God's image and that she was just as capable as any other man, black man or white man. Come on, somebody. And today, that's what God wants us to remind you children, even in this pandemic, when you're trying to figure out what does God God want me to do? How can I do it? That God is saying you can overcome your fear. I know we've read that in Timothy. I believe 1 Timothy, hallelujah, 1 and 7, I believe. It's either 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy 1 and 7, I believe, that says God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. What? Yes. God didn't send that. Whenever you're facing extreme fear, see, there's a difference between cautious, being cautious, um, contemplating things. Fear comes to literally shift you from doing what God wants you to do. It torments you where you cannot fulfill your dreams. You cannot fulfill your passions. You cannot enjoy life. It literally torments you. That spirit comes from the enemy. The word of God said God didn't give us fear. It comes from the enemy. The enemy wants us to have doubt, wants us to have low self-esteem. What? Really? Yes, fear is not what God wants us to have. And you got to be very careful, my swelly, when people will come and project or put their fear on you. You may be doing well. 
You might be like, Lord, I'm about to do this. God, I'm about to go here. I'm about to try to achieve this. And they will come and say, Masuela, you don't need to do that. Didn't you hear what's going on? Didn't you hear that other people couldn't do it? Didn't you hear that women like you, black people like you, don't you know there's going to be a lot of obstacles? People will come and project their fear onto you. What? You know, I, I have gone through that, Reverend Jones. <laughs> Masuela, why do you love? Why do you why do you keep uh, switching your hair back and forth? Honey, I just got my hair done. But anyhow, you know, I wanted, glory to God, to get over my fear of, of height. I do not like climbing ladders. I do not like getting on roller coasters. But it has been my prayer that I could overcome my height. Really? Really? Why haven't you tried to overcome that? Why haven't you? Well, I tried, but I had this one friend. Uh, she just kept saying, you don't need to overcome that because heights and are, are bad anyway, and you don't need to try to get on roller coasters or ladders anyway. Really? See, that's what I was just saying, my swelly. People will try to project their stuff onto you, but you have to remind yourself of the word. If you want to overcome that fear, you have to make that step, young people. My sweater, you have to make that step, and you have to trust God. What did the word of God says? Trust in the Lord. Oh, my God. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and God shall do what? Direct. <laughs> Glory, that's right. Direct your paths. You need to say, my trust. My trust. Come on, you say it too, young people. Say, my trust. My trust is in, is in God. God. Come on, say it again like you feel it. My trust, my trust <laughs> is in, is in God. God. <laughs> Come on, my sweater. You ready to preach? I know you can preach. I hear, I hear it in your voice. <laughs> My trust is in God. And today we want to show you that you can trust in God. But I'm going to show you how you can trust in God. I am going to help my, sweat, my swally get over her fear of heights. But I'm going to show you a metaphor, or we're going to use this as an example of how you should trust in God to overcome fear. I am going to show her how she should trust me that I'm going to help her to overcome her fear. You're going to see this as how you should trust God. Are y'all ready? Get ready. My swelly is getting ready to overcome her fear. Are you ready, my swelly? Yes. All right. Here we go. All right, y'all. We are talking about how to overcome fear. And we're going to use this exercise to teach us how we can overcome fear and put our trust in God. I'm with my dear friend, my little sister, my Swally, my Swally. Sometimes people say my Swally, my Swally. And she has been dealing with fear of heights. And many people have projected their fear onto her. And because they also have that fear, they have made her feel as if she cannot overcome that fear. But my my Swelly, are you ready? I'm a little nervous. Huh? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I can't do this. <sighs> My Swelly, I am here. I'm here. Do you trust Reverend Jones? Yes. Have we spent time together? Yes. You know I would not hurt you, right? Yes, I know that. I'm holding this ladder. And if you happen to slip, I will catch you. You believe that? Yes. You have had a chance to know my character. You know that I will not allow anything to happen to you, okay? So I need you to trust me. And if you trust me, it won't be impossible. It will become possible because you know I'm here. I'm present 
in this moment to help you climb this ladder, okay? Okay. All right, I'm holding the ladder. I need you to begin to make some steps now. Oh, look at that. Y'all, you're on the first step, all right? Oh, I can't do this, Jerry Jones. I can't do this. Yes, you can. I got the ladder. I got you. I have my hand on you. I'm holding you. Believe me, you are a strong, young black woman. You have overcome many things before. I need you to believe that you can do this. You want to overcome, right? Put your trust in me, okay? Okay. There you go. All right, now make that, make that next step. Uh, I got you. Oh, Look at that. You made one step. Oh, my God. You can make another step, too. Are you ready? Are you ready, my swelly? Yes. Are you here? Yes, I am. I'm here. I'm here. I got you. I got you, okay? Okay? You get two more steps. This is the highest you have ever been. Yes. But I, I feel I'm getting better. Yes. Yes, you are. Now, climb the next step. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! Look how, how high I am! Oh, my God! Reverend Jones! Reverend Jones, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. I now need you to breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. Look. Look, look, look around. Oh my God, I'm actually on this ladder high up. Yes, you are. Now take one more step. One more step. I got you. I'm holding you. I'm right with you. shake too much now girl I don't want you to fall girl I got you but don't 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 do too much all right all right all right come on let's come down now awesome I am so proud of you yay I am so proud of you my Swaley, you were able to overcome your fear of height because you trusted in me. We had built a relationship so much and so that you knew that I would not allow anything bad to happen to you. And you trusted me to hold the ladder. You trusted me to, to um, hold your back to make sure that if you had slipped, I would catch you. And you were able to go to the top of that high ladder and now how do you feel Ryan Jones I feel so good I'm not scared anymore really no really no I'm not scared okay I didn't ask you to sing baby But anywho, young people, what this means for you as it relates to God is, if you have built a relationship with God, like my swelly built with Reverend Jones, you can overcome your fear because your trust is in God. God got you. That even if you slip, God got you. God is saying, I'm present with you. You can do all things through Christ Jesus. You can overcome whatever the enemy has told you about yourself. Whatever people have told you about yourself. Whatever things you feel like you cannot accomplish, like my swelly, you can overcome 
your fear. I don't care what the enemy has said. You are victorious in Christ Jesus. You can do all things. Come on, somebody. I'm going to keep quoting that. Through Christ Jesus. For, the, for God did not give us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Not saying it's going to be easy all the time. And soundness means that you have the ability to see clear in God's view. Say, God, I have a sound mind. I trust you. I'm not distracted. My vision is not blurred by anybody else, by the, by the enemy or negative stigmas or stereotypes or what people may say about me. But I have a soundness of mind. I hear God. I can do it. Why? Because God got you. God got you, right? Ain't that right, my son? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God got you no matter what. Just know that God got you. Uh-huh. I, I, I can't think of the song, but the song that talks about, hey, man, it's your time. You've been waiting a long time trying to get over this fear. But look at God. Today was your day. <laughs> All right. Let me fix your hair. I know, you know, she has Baptist fit sometimes, y'all. But remember that today is your day. You can overcome your fear. And remember, it's going to be all right. All right, y'all. I am so proud of my swelly. I know y'all see her back there. She just chilling real high on the ladder. She overcame her fear. And now she like, look at me, y'all. Look at me. I am bad. I'm up here high up. She's telling you, you can overcome your fear. And remember, it's going to be all right. So let me hit this song. No matter what you are currently going through, whatever the mountain, trial, or situation may be, God is saying in this last hour that I am able to bring you out. So the next time that you are faced with an unfortunate circumstance or trial, begin to declare these words over your life. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. You don't have Make it 
it all right. God will make it all right. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. It just won't work. It just won't work. It's going to be, yeah. It's going to be all right. Just keep on moving. It's gonna be all right. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah. I know you may have some fears in your life, but young people just know. Just know it's gonna be. A promise it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right all right it's gonna be all right my family it's gonna be all right god bless you all until the next time, remember that you can overcome your fear if you put your trust in God. Thank you for tuning in to Trinity's Youth Hour. Share this video. Come on, share this video. And I hope to see you next week. God bless you. Now, miss, just mispronounce her name. Miss Wally. And then, no, 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 you go, she's going to say to you, my name is, you know, she's my name go, is Miss Wally. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me out the shot. Hang on a second. Let me, no, all green. Or go up a little higher. A little higher. This is good. Now, I want her to do that again. My name is Miss Wally. No, no, let her look at you. Look at you. There you go. There my you go. name is Miss Wally. No, you mispronounce her name. Look it up. My, what, 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 I see, I, I got to see. My Swally. No, you're looking at her. Look at her. My Swally. And then, no. Wait, my no. name is My Swally. One more time. My name is My Swally. I'm going to do it one more time. Look at her. Wait for me. Wait for my cue. I don't want, I want all green on this. So when you see this, Miss, uh, uh, mispronounce her name. And my, you swe got, my Swally. Oh, my minute. Swally. My name is My Swally. That's my it. Name that's is it. My that's Swally. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Do a of her this is cutaways of one step at a time, and then you go back to the real one. And then one more, right? Now, do me a favor. See if you can see lean, her, lean her head back. Lean her head back. Yeah, lean her head back. That's it. That's it, Reverend That's it. That's it. Have a look down, Reverend I mean, what's going on with the youth style? That's what I want. Help, help. What's going on with the youth style? I, 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 I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Reverend Turn her the other way and let her look down so she can see how far she's looking down when you show that. She's looking down a far away, okay? There you go. You got that. Get you got on that. out of here, bitch. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid. By the arrows by day. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. God will do what God said God would do. Really? No, I'm not scared. Okay, I didn't ask you to say, baby. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs>
But anywho, talks about, hey man, it's your time. You've been waiting a long time trying to get over this fear. But look at God. Today was your day. <laughs> Where do I go to find a word from the Lord?